Hey everyone on the internet, it's Freddie here. Uh, today at Music Vila, we got our hands on the new Fender Tone Master Pro. So basically what this thing is, is it's Fender's shot at like the uh, Helix, or uh, it's just pretty much like a big fancy modeler. Um, so today I just kind of want to go through a few presets, uh, show you how to build a preset, and see what kind of tones we can get out of this. Let's get to it. All right, so to start off, let's just go through some of the presets. Uh, I'm just gonna be doing the preset number one. So it's the 65 Deluxe Reverb. It was what I was using in the intro. Um, here's a couple notes. So you can see here on the screen, we've got uh, some things going on. So if I press this uh, foot switch mode, or FS mode, I think that's foot switch. Um, we've got, uh, I can activate, or with this, get some more tone out of it. Uh, here it's a green box. It says Royal Tone here, but I haven't updated the software or the firmware on this thing. So I think once we do that, it would probably say green box here. We're just excited and want to do a video on it right now. All right, so that's that. Let's see, uh, another preset I thought was pretty good. We have bank up and down to go through our presets. You can also just use this knob here. That will also go through your presets. Let's see, I thought seven was cool. So seven's called Clean Machine. That's one of the presets, a clean machine. We also have, uh, let's go up to 29. Summer of Jimmy, so Jimi Hendrix. That one sounds pretty good. Let's see, I got another one, 46 I thought was pretty cool. This one's How Late Is It Then? Or How Late Is Then? Oh yeah, it's got like a nice kind of tremolo going on. This one is going to be interesting. I'll be the judge of this next one. This next one is called Barking Moon, if you can guess what that means. Kind of sounds like Bark at the Moon. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Uh, 87, this one just says acoustic and vocal. So we, we have a, a mic in here on the back and I believe you can probably attach your microphone to that and it, it probably has effects on that. I'm not going to do that because I don't know how to sing. 87, where's it at? Acoustic and vocal. Let's get what that sounds like. <laughs> That sounds pretty good too. Okay, and on top of that, we also have a built-in tuner, which is pretty rad. So let's see if I'm even in tune right now. So I high is a little flat. And you just get that by holding this down and get you to it. And when you're done with it, also, 
obviously no sound comes out. Now you're back into the sound. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to kind of go how to build like a really simple preset on this. So we'll go to an empty channel on here. So we have nothing in here now. Um, so I'm just going to add a block. That's going to put a guy right here in the middle for me. If we tap that, we now have uh, access to a bunch of different amps. There's half stacks. You've got amp heads. We've got different cabinets, which is super cool. This is actually my favorite part, just building your own tone. Um, so let's just go. I'll start with an amp head, right? So let's see. What do I want? I want something heavy. All right, so here's a 5150 red. You hit confirm up in the top, boom, it's on here. But it's just the amp head, so it's going to not sound that great. So we have to uh, get a cabinet in there. So put the cabinet right here. We'll add a cabinet. We'll go to cabinets down here. And because it's such a hot amp head, we're going to want, this looks like the Mega. It's Mesa. It looks like a Mesa amp. So boom, now we have that. <laughs> So that's how you get that tone, um, or like the tone I like. So we'll add some effects in here. Again, just hit this. We'll go down to effects. Off to the side here, you'll see stomp box, modulation, delay, reverb, dynamics, EQs, filter, pitch. Uh, I want reverb. So we'll go to reverb. They give you a bunch of different re reverbs to choose through. Uh, let's do, let's do large hall, feeling like a rock star. Um, so if I just... It's already on large hall. So if you take this reverb and you stick it on the other side of the chain, see how that kind of sounds terrible? So you kind of have to have, have them in the right spot. It's kind of like a real amp. If you were to go put a, delay, or a, a reverb like that directly into the input of your amp, it's probably going to do that. But if your amp has like an effects loop and you run it through the effects loop, it's going to sound a little bit more chilled out and manageable. So we can tap on that and it's gonna bring this up. Now what I also think is cool is every one of these stomp buttons for your foot is actually uh, a knob for the effects. So mix, I'm gonna get put the mix down to like nine o'clock because we don't need that much. Let's see what that sounds like. Right, if I want to like a ton of mix. We can do that. You, can, you have your decay and stuff and it tells you which ones are on here, right? That's cool. So a little less to decay. We'll get some of that at mix. And then you can either hit exit or there's a little back button up here. Same thing with the amp. If we click on our amp, we can change how much gain we have with these knobs. You can actually even tap the thing and then move your finger. You can see that that's moving that around as well. I like the knob. It's a lot nicer. Uh, you know, and you can, mess with, you can mess with your settings on here, however you like. You know, if you want like death metal, you just do this and then this. And stuff like that. So that's pretty much how to go about making that stuff. And if you want to add any more effects, depending on what they are, like if you have drives, you're going to want to put the drives over on the left side. If you have wet effects like reverb, uh, effects like delay or uh, chorus or anything like that, you're going to want to put it on the right side. Unless you don't and you like the way it sounds like on the other side, you can just put it wherever you want. You know, you go for the sound that you're hearing in your head. Um, but that's my quick little review of the Tone Master Pro. I think this is sick. Uh, one other thing to note is uh, there is a headphone jack so you can practice at night. And out of all of the guitar devices I've ever used, this thing makes headphones sound amazing. I've, I use like neural DSP at home and I could play with the headphones. I don't really, it's, it sounds okay. This thing makes headphones sound great. The way we have this set up right now is, uh, you know, obviously just guitar goes into input. Um, we're running left and right stereo out into uh, the soundboard. And then so I can hear stuff. We are also running um, an XLR out to TRS or it's TRS out uh, to XLR in our uh, cabinet that we'll show here in a second with some B-roll. But it's Fender's uh, new Tone Master powered speaker. I think it kind of pairs with this device. But you can also you can run this device into a powered speaker. You can run it into the front of a, an amp. You can run it um, into studio monitors, which I did last night. I just ran it left and right. Um, headphones. There's a ton of options. It's got 
uh, four, what are these called? Effects loops in the back, which is pretty wild. I'm not really sure how you access those just yet. That's kind of above my pay grade as a guitar player. But this thing has options. It even has MIDI. Uh, you can update it via USB-C connected to your computer. Um, it's a super killer device. Um, super glad we got one in. I'm glad I got to mess around with one last night. And it's, yeah, come check it out. We'll have it set up here at Music Villa.